Time now for the NTV Sports Desk. When it comes to bowling in Lincoln, on Monday afternoon, this was the spot. The Sun Valley lanes and games in the capital city for the NSAA Unified Bowling State Championship. We start with Class B, where it was Lexington and Seward in the final. But in Class A, it was Columbus looking to defend a state title just like the Minutemen taking on Lincoln Northeast. Let's do this thing. Class B was up first. Lexington taking on Seward. Gabe Bees came in the states red hot and kept it rolling in game one. Bees, first frame, keeping it simple, slow and steady, gets the spare. Not a bad start for the defending state champ, right? Cameron Nehart was cooking as well. Two hands, no problem. Brooklyn's this shot, but still goes on to hit the spare and help the Blue Jays take game one. One thing about Gabe, he's a huge team player. Only right to shout them out. Daisy Gomez in game two does her job. Close the frame. Good pick up. Another tight one, but the Jays would edge the Minutemen by five in game two. Final score 174 to 169. Third game, Jays continue to fly. Nehart does a little bit of closing up shop himself, gets a spare, and helps Seward sweep its way to a Class B state championship. So our athletes on the team, they are both um, just experienced bowlers. They both did middle school Special Olympics bowling. Um, Cameron also does the boys bowling at the high school level. So, you know, they just bring a lot of experience to the team and just a lot of excitement. It just means a whole lot to me, just going bowling and getting, like, strikes and spares. The last two years, if you would have told us in Lexington, hey, you're going to win a state championship and a state runner-up, we probably would say, well, uh, maybe not. But we knew in ourselves we had a lot of good people and a good partner and good athletes that I knew it was possible. And I think we show that at any time anything is possible with our unified program. So how would Class A follow up? Columbus taking on Lincoln Northeast. Game 1, 10th frame. Look at Sydney Vondra's ball. Master of the ramp here. You'll see in a sec. Rolling right down the middle, that's a strike. Crucial because the Rockets would take the opener 151 to 146. Second game, all about Randy Champlin, my guy. First ball of the day, throw up the X. First of six strikes for the Discoverers in game two, throwing a 216. We're tied at one game apiece. Game three, back to the ramp queen. Remember when I said this whole slow and steady phrase that I mentioned. Well, you see the ramp there. Same thing here. Same result as well. The spare helps Lincoln Northeast take a 2-1 lead. Game 4, 10th frame. Matt Holcomb turned it up. Huge ball here. The strike helps Columbus score a 180, but the Rockets were soaring as well. Vondra, her first ball, slowly rolling, but simply enough. That's 9, helping the Rockets edge the Discoverers by 2. Lincoln Northeast, your Class A state champ. These guys have been together for four years. Uh, three of the four of my bowlers are seniors, and they have been bowling together. Uh, I don't even know what words to use. Uh, we are excited. We are um, happy. We are, are tearful. What, what's coming next? We have no idea, but it's definitely been a long, long time coming. The whole year has just been one fun, fun ride. This afternoon, we, the, boy, the boys had so much fun. They were cheering and hooping and hollering and just, it's just so fun to be here and be able to be in this situation to be able to be in the finals again. So I'm so proud of them. And when it comes to unified bowling, it's more than just raising a trophy that's the size of Nebraska, right? The opportunity to compete, the opportunity to come out here and bowl with a varsity team makes it special in itself. Congrats to all the athletes on a phenomenal season. And the countdown to 2024 is just getting started. From Lincoln, I'm Trey Redfield, NTV Sports.